Hello, Stampers, and happy Make It Monday. Thanks for being here with me today. What I'd love to know from you as you're joining in is tell me, please, is today a holiday for you where you are? Is it Easter Monday for you? And are you doing anything uh, to celebrate that or just kind of like... Um, I don't want to say hangover from the weekend, but you know that feeling where you're like, oh, that was such a great weekend. And soon it will be the week. <laughs> so today we are going to be making a very lovely card with one of these beautiful colors. And don't forget to stick around till the end because we are going to be giving away this card. So let me jump into it here. Change our change our perspective on the camera. All right, so uh, these are the in colors that came out last year and they are continuing with us for one more year. And I wanted to show you how to make a really beautiful one color card, also called a monochromatic card using one of these colors. Now today we're going to be using Sweet Sorbet um, simply because that was what somebody voted for in Social Stampers. and. Uh, I hate making decisions, so I love it when someone else makes it for me. Speaking of which, those of you who are watching, I would love it if you would tell me, is this card going to be a sunshine card or a birthday card? Please put your comment down and uh, I will try to count them up when I get ready to do the stamping and we'll see what kind of card it's going to be. And by the way, while I'm shouting out those of you who are watching live, let me shout out my replay warriors too. You can make your vote too. Why not? You might be, you might be right. We'll see what happens. So I have got the supplies here for my card. This is die cut, the biggest die from the scalloped contours set. And we're going to be using the sending smiles bundle. Now this is a bundle that came out in last year's annual catalog and it is carrying over to the next annual catalog. Um, so it's a great choice for you to buy. If you haven't bought it already, buy it now because the bundle price is going to be going away at the end of April. Now I'm also going to be using the in color vellum or pardon me, this isn't the vellum, it's the shimmer paper and it's kind of got an ombre effect to it. And let me tell you, this is on sale right now uh, on the last chance sale and I totally recommend that you buy it. It's only $6.60 and you get a, um, let me see, it's 20 sheets. So for each of five in colors and it's already six by six. So that's brilliant, right? Okay, so let's see what we're gonna start with. Hey, I see we got a couple people watching. Thanks for joining me. Please drop a comment and let me know if you think this should be a birthday card or a sunshine card. That's all you have to put in the comment, birthday or sunshine, help me decide. So what I wanna do on my card, as you can see from this example here, I want to cut out this beautiful glimmer paper to be this very thin sending. So a lot of people get worried about using these fussy dies like this, and I don't blame you. Um, but what I want to do is uh, show you how to make it really easy by using the adhesive sheets and uh, making it work. So I'm going to start by looking at my die and measuring it. Oh, hey, Karen. Hey, Tanya. Okay, we got a split vote here. Oh, my goodness. Um, so I'm going to make this three and a half across, which is a little bit bigger than what the die is. And then I want to make sure I get all the way from the top to the bottom. So I'm going to go with an inch and a half. So three and a half by an inch and a half. And that's what I end up here with the adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and yes, I measured this before and I cut it before so I wouldn't have to do that on camera. And now I'm going to go ahead and stick this onto my shimmer paper. And I know that my die is going to fit on there, right? Because I measured it. Beautiful. Yeah, we do miss the sunshine. Hey, I hope it's coming back this week. We've had a few really, really nice days. And then, I don't know. I don't know where it went. 
So I'm going to trim this down a little bit so it will fit in my mini die cutting machine. I'm just going to trim that at three. There we go. So where's my plates? There they are. I'm trying to get this my machine in the camera frame. Okay. So here's the part that's got my adhesive sheet on. Yes, the adhesive sheets are staying, Tanya. What would we do without them, right? I would be lost without them. I use them all the time. Okay, so I've got my die here and I've put it on the part that has the adhesive sheet. And I'm just going to, sorry, I have to rotate this a little bit. Might not be as good a view, but at least I'll be able to do it without uh, making a big mess of things. There we go, through the machine. Yeah, I don't know what we would do without the adhesive sheets. By the way, in addition to giving away a card at the end of the video, um, I'm also going to be showing you a sneak peek of something really exciting that showed up at my house today. I didn't know it was going to be delivered today, especially because for me and my family, it's a holiday. There's no school. There's no work. So we were very surprised to see the UPS truck pulled up um, and give me a box of something very, very special and exciting. So make sure you stick around. I'm going to show you a sneak peek of what that is. All right. So here we've got our sending, our shimmery sorbet sending. And now I'm going to card stock. Hey, can I break the tie? I need to tell me if this is going to be correct. And believe me when I tell you, you can't go much further. Oh, we need you. You're just in time. I'm cutting out my Cardstock now wide. Die. So these die with one another and create a really cool, pretty, right? And prettier once I line it up all. I'm not seeing Carol. Carol, you're making me panic. I'll do my. out of order and we'll figure it out. So here's our card base, Sweet Sorbet Chromatic Card, which just one color. And that's an awesome after. Get yourself an ink pad, card game color, And then you can just start playing and you don't have to get so obvious I'm making this with sweet sorbet but you could make this with any color you like oh don't know where my adhesive is gonna have to use my backup obviously it's a holiday for me forgetting to get my stuff ready before going live oh well Okay, Carol, this is your last chance to tell us. Is this going to be a sunshine card or a birthday card? The suspense is killing me. Look at how well that matches. As always, that's what we love about Stampin' Up, right, is how well everything matches. The cardstock and the DSP go together so nicely. All right, I'm going to grab my silicone sheet. Sunshine. Carol says sunshine. Thank goodness. I thought I was going to have to make a decision myself. Phew. All right. Karen and Carol voted for sunshine. And Tanya did say she was good with either. So fortunately, she's not going to have to uh, slam down in a rage and leave the video. Thank goodness. Now, if you are enjoying this video, take a moment to hit that heart button. It really helps me out. Helps me show, show this video to more people which is what it's all about as a small business owner. I'm always trying to expand my reach and get my message out there that everyone is crafty, everyone can have fun crafting, and crafting is good for you. That's right, I said it, 
crafting is good for you. All right, I've got my glimmery sending. Still got the adhesive sheet backing hanging on a little bit here. So I'm going to peel that off. And now this is sticky, like a sticker. I don't have to fuss around with glue. It's already sticky. And so now I just start at one end, pushing this down onto my white cardstock to create this double layer. Now, you might have already noticed, or you might be wondering at this point, oh my goodness, Laura, where's the dot for your eye? Don't worry. I don't fuss around with the dot for my eye because nobody's got time for that. <laughs> what I'm going to do is put an embellishment there, but we'll worry about that a bit later. First, I'm going to get some mini dimensionals. And fortunately, this larger sending is just good and thick enough to put mini dimensionals on it. It's like they knew what they were doing, right? Look at that. I can fit mini dimensionals on almost every part of this. So, yay, Carol says yay. That's awesome. So tell me what you all are up to today. Is it a holiday for you? Is it not? Are you... Well, clearly you're not working because you're watching this video. Um, replay Warriors, let me know. Were you at work when I filmed my video? I don't work on Mondays anyway, but today is a, a holiday for my whole family. No school, no work for my husband, so we're all at home. All right, so we're making this a sunshine card. Now, can we take just a second to look at this Sending Smiles bundle? and the enormous variety of sentiments that are available here. Now, I'm not even getting into today um, using all these flowers, which again, huge versatility, huge amount of different flowers and gardens and bouquets and everything that you could build. We're not even going there today. We're just looking at the sentiments and look at all the different ones. You could send a card for pretty much any occasion. This is honestly like such a great product for a beginner because now you've got pretty much every sentiment that you're going to need as a beginner, as a starting out crafter. So I knew I always like to give my viewers a choice when we're starting out the video and say, you know, what sentiment do you want it to be or what color do you want it to be? But I knew if I gave you the choice of all those different sentiments, we would never get this done. So I didn't give you a choice of all of them. I just narrowed it down to two, birthday or sunshine. And we're doing sunshine, which means, here's the other thing I'll show you. There are two different dies in here with this kind of shape. There's a long one and a shorter one. And all of the sentiments on here fit one of these two shapes. So I specifically chose one that was long and one that was short. I totally lost where my white scrap card stock is, so I'm gonna have to just pull another one out of my stash. Not a problem. There's never a lack of white cardstock scraps, am I right? So we are going to cut the longer label shape and turn this into a sunshine card. Yeah, Tanya, check your stash, see if you have this one. And if not, if you don't have this bundle, I totally recommend it. And you should definitely buy it this month because it's carrying over to the new catalog, but the bundle price will not be. So right now you can get, um, when you buy the stamp set and the dies together, there's a 10% discount. But starting next month, even though those products will still both be available, you won't be able to get that discount. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my... Sweet Sorbet ink pad and my uh, stamp and pierce mat to give my photopolymer stamp a bit of cushion. And I've got my sentiment that says, sunshine to brighten your day. We're going to stamp that right on there. And there it is. Once again, beautifully matching with our paper and our cardstock and our shimmer paper. Look at that cool ombre effect on the shimmer paper. Uh-oh, camera freeze, hate that. 
Okay, here we go. 95% sure that you bought it. Yeah, it does make sense to get the bundle price, right? Okay, so I'm really hoping my camera is going to come back before I get too much further along. But I'm just going to put on my mini dimensionals onto my white cardstock and pop them off. Ugh. I know you can't see any of this. You just have to trust me that it looks fabulous. Yep. Totally, my phone got kicked right out of the stream. Dang it. Okay, well, since we're almost done, um, I'm just going to make this one bigger. Remove that from the stream, and I will show you what our card's looking like right now. Oops. So, sending sunshine to brighten your day. Now, we've still got that dot on the eye that we need to take care of. So, what I'm going to do is grab my iridescent pearls and a strawberry sorbet blend and I'm going to color a pearl right on the sheet you can tell I've been doing this a bit there's lots of little blend marks along the, along the sheet with our blend and I'm off the sheet or card like so. Hey Kathy, welcome right, to see how to make this awesome card, but we've got some awesome exciting. So just stay tuned because I have got this week's card and we're going to show you a sneak peek of something fantastic that I got delivered today. Okay, that's going to come back. And of course, it's going to come with the wrong stream. Yeah. I love you, but why are you? You are a challenge and I don't. I... Then again, did anyone see last week why to use a different service? Homeward, that was a disaster. It wouldn't use my laptop camera, so you couldn't see my face. And then there was no sound. So StreamYard, you're the best of the worst. All right, so here is our beautiful card. We've got our colored pearl on there to be the dot of the eye. And now we've got some awesome stuff. You get to give away a card and I get to show you a sneak peek of something exciting. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. My box of new annual catalogs arrived today from UPS. Isn't this gorgeous? I cannot show you inside yet, but believe you me, there's awesome, awesome stuff in here. Now, if you would like a copy of the catalog, just hit hashtag catalog in the comments and I will make sure that you get one. Isn't it pretty, Karen? Oh my gosh. Okay, and the other thing, Right after this video, you all know, I think, what I like to do with my catalogs, which is set them up with tabs so that I can find things easily. So that's the very next thing I'm doing after this video is setting myself up with my catalog tabs so that I can look through this catalog like a pro. Now, if you would like a set of tabs for your catalog made by me, you can have that absolutely free. All you need to do is join my Stampin' Club for the upcoming year. So that will run from September to June. There will be a monthly purchase commitment of $20, and we all take turns sharing the hostess rewards. So at one point during that 10 months, you are going to get mm, between $50 and $150 of free stuff in addition to um, getting to craft every month with people that you enjoy spending time with. Okay, so let's give away our card from last week. So this is the card that we made last week with our Tropical Leaf Bundle, part of the online exclusives. And I'm very happy to say we are going to give away this awesome card to Regina, or possibly it's Regina, not sure how to pronounce that in German, but she shared the video last week and so she wins that card. 
And uh, if you share this week's video, you'll get a chance to win this card. Or if Sweet Sorbet is not your favorite of the in colors, I have all of the other in colors too. So you can choose which one you would like. I just want to show you that, that you can make this card in any color um, and it will look awesome, right? It will look fantastic. And if you don't happen to have this scalloped contours die, that's okay. You could just use a layer of white there instead. No worries. Now, don't forget, you can get all the products that I've shown today, making this card, making last week's card. You can get all of them on my website, inkyfingers.ca. That glimmer paper that I showed you is on for a, a significant discount, $6.60 for your full pack, 20 sheets of six by six glimmer paper. And the bundle, Sending Smiles, this is gonna be your last month to get the bundle discount of 10% off. Now, I said that if you hit that hashtag catalog, I will get you a catalog. If you're interested in knowing more about my Stampin' Club, which starts in the fall, hit hashtag club and I'll get in touch with you and tell you all the details. And then you can get yourself a set of fabulous catalog tabs. Okay, I think that's it for today. I hope that you've had fun watching the video. If you did, please remember to hit that heart button. Enjoy the rest of your Easter Monday, and we'll see you next week on Make It Monday. Bye, everyone.